Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here, and today I am going to show you how to animate stuff in Java on a JFrame. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make a make a project. Just call this like animation or something. And if you want to, you can make a package if you want. Doesn't really matter. You can just do it in the default. I like making packages because it makes me feel organized. So in this project, we're going to make a new class and we're just going to call it start. So this is going to be like our main class. So we're going to have our main method in here. And basically the main method, for those of you who don't know what it is, it runs all of the code. So it's basically like where you start. So in here, we're going to create a new frame object and we're going to call it f. Um, you're going to get an error because we haven't created the frame class yet. So we're going to create a new class file in this main method and we're going to call it frame. In here, we're going to have it extend jframe. So basically, we can create the frame itself. And for those of you as well who don't know what a frame is, it's basically like a window. So this is a frame. This um, Eclipse editor is a frame. So we have to create our constructor. So this is where we're going to put all of our stuff. So in here we're going to set the default close operation to jframe.exit on close. And this is very important. So basically what this does is when you open the window and you press the X button, it terminates the program for you. Otherwise it would be running in the background and that would not be good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the title. We'll set that to animate. The next thing we want to do is set the size. We're going to do 400 by 400 just to keep it small. And we have to set resizable, if I can spell it right, to false. So that way the user cannot resize the window. We also need to set the layout. This is very important, otherwise the frame is not going to display anything. So we'll do a new grid layout. That way it fills the entire screen. Um, I think we have to import this actually. Um, so the next thing we have to do, we need to set the location relative to null. This, um, this basically makes the the frame centered on the screen. So it'll put it like right smack dab in the middle, like right around here. Um, hmm. Sorry, I'm saying um a lot. Now we need to make a draw object. Um. Okay, I gotta stop saying um. We're making a draw object, and basically this is gonna be a new class that we make, and it's gonna be the J panel, and we're gonna add draw, and then we wanna set the visibility of this to true. All right, so this will be our last class. Um, one more class right here. We're gonna call it draw. In the draw class, let's create a constructor. And we're going to need a timer called T. Basically, this is going to run over and over. And sometimes you get an error like that. Just do import java x.swing.timer. Um, so basically, this timer is going to run a method over and over again. And it's just going to delay it. So every single time, it's going to sleep for 10 seconds, and then or 10 milliseconds. And then it'll run the method again. So this will basically be like our update, our tick method, I guess you could call it. So we actually want to have this um, extend jpanel and implement action listener. So we need to import both of those things. And we're going to have to create the action performed class, or method, not class. So basically in here, this will be our game loop. So it'll run over and over and over. In here we're going to update positioning yada yada yada. So right here we're going to call the repaint method except make sure you spell it right. And we need to make a uh, method called paint and it needs a graphics g object. So we need to import graphics as well. So basically this repaint method is going to keep calling this paint method over and over and over. And 
basically right up here will be updating positioning so it'll update the position and then it'll repaint it and it'll be doing that so fast that it looks like the object is moving smoothly but really it's just like skipping one pixel at a time so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a rectangle and we'll do it at 10 10 10 10 oh yeah we also need to start this so in the constructor we do t dot start it's the same thing you do with a thread basically it'll just start this and if we go in here let's see wait I got an error ah sorry you need to put new there that's in the start class so if you run this we'll just one second mm. oh um <laughs> Make sure you don't spell the name of the method paint wrong. That's very important. So if we run it, we see right here, we get this rectangle. And it's staying still. So what we want to do is we want to have it moving. So we kind of change this to x and y. And we'll create two integers. You know what? They don't need to be private. Let's just do x equals 10. Int, int y equals 10 so basically this will be the positioning then we have the dx and the dy so that'll be like the movement um, so basically it'll increment by one pixel every single time so if we run this again we'll see we still have the block there now in this action performed method which is our update basically we're gonna add to the x with the dx so basically this will keep it moving but we got one slight problem it's gonna it's going to keep drawing it and we won't have a clear screen. So what we want to do is g dot clear rect and we'll do zero zero so it'll start with the start of the type blah, 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 the top right corner and then get width and get white get height. Man, I cannot talk. And this will clear the screen so that way we can draw on it. So if we look at this, it's just moving. Pretty snazzy, right? I know and you could add more of these if you wanted to and if we put the dy in it'll move diagonally no 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 <laughs> oops so make sure you put y there so now it'll move diagonally pretty cool huh so that's basically the basics of animation in java um thank you for watching this video be sure to subscribe and i'll see you next time